You're watching an with the brand new Apple iPod Nano um, MP3 player here. Also have the old iPad or iPod um, Nano, as you can see here. So we will take a closer look at the differences, of course. And then, of course, in the same color here, the iPod Touch and an iPod, iPad Mini, actually, which is, of course, not red. There's only black and white available. We have both, but I will compare it with the white one since um, it looks a little bit nicer, I think, in comparison and on the camera, usually. So we have the Apple iPod pod nano ipod ipad iphones all the same kind of um, if you talk about it a lot and as you can see here we have as always here this really neat um, box here which it comes in i bought the product red edition which means there is going some money to an aids foundation um, in africa then we have the 16 gig version which is the smallest version costs 6 um, 49 us dollars um, i think in all colors there is i think like maybe 10 colors available then it says of course iPod Nano we have this uh, this nice Apple and some disclaimers on the bottom so if you open it up I of course open it up before you will clearly see right away that we have here the iPod Nano um, usually there's a foil on top which shows you six icons I already took it off it's actually here on the bottom now but we will take a first look at what's inside the box so you can see here we have a short um, paper about what is product red AIDS foundation and then what I was talking you about. Then we have here, hello, um, a short manual, and of course there's some stickers with Apple here inside, two apples actually, so you can put them somewhere on your shirts or anywhere you want. You love apples, so you should show it, I guess. Then we have here inside the box, it's not that easy to take out, lightning cable, since all new iOS devices and actually the Nano is kind of iOS but you cannot connect via Wi-Fi or you can't install Angry Birds and stuff like that on there if you don't hack it I guess, maybe there is a hack in the future and you can see here actually we have lightning cable so that's quite nice these cost about 20 bucks if you um, don't have them and or will lose them and then we have ear pods but there's actually no charger inside so you need a computer to charge your devices or another USB adapter so that's of course quite a bummer but otherwise here the earpods are really amazing and um, these cost about 30 bucks also when you buy them from Apple and these are of course not the ones where you have the extra um, adapter for taking the calls but otherwise these do have really better sound than the old ones by Apple so let me put this back here together and let's take a look at the iPod Nano so let me actually take it out of this plastic so you can see here, these are the six icons I was telling you about. And when I turn it on, it will actually also look like that. So we have the six icons and there's actually no way to unlock. If you hit the um, on button, it's uh, already unlocked. So there's no unlock feature on the iPod Nano. Otherwise, you can see here, the display is quite beautiful, stunning. And there's only eight icons on here, which um, you can use for the music playing, watching pictures, there's no camera actually inside so you can really just watch pictures that you put over on here over iTunes. Then we have of course settings, video, music and the radio. Radio is a really interesting feature because no other uh, Apple devices have a radio and I think the old iPod Nano didn't have a radio either. Let me actually check. It says music. Oh, it actually did have a radio, I'm sorry. So if I have it in my hand already, you can see here the size comparison. It's half the size or double the size now. If I put it on the top or the bottom, you can see here that there's quite a difference, especially if I turn the display on. The display was a little bit smaller um, and actually this is right now quite a dark display. But if I go to the settings here, which actually work the same way on the new one as on the old one, you will see the display size is of course a lot bigger now. with the new iPod. Let me actually go out of here again. Out, out, out. So here we go. You can see display wise there is quite a difference. There is more space for icons but otherwise um, in terms of uh, thickness you can see here that the new one is of course quite a lot slimmer and percentage wise you won't feel much difference but it's really slimmer especially since there's a new connector and this white part is actually for Bluetooth the old one didn't have Bluetooth the new one has Bluetooth so it can connect to other devices maybe you can use it as a smartwatch which would be an interesting feature but actually it's probably only for the Nike Plus feature which is of course quite nice from the back as I said there's actually no camera and we didn't even take a closer look at the hardware itself so you can see here quite 
Um, beautiful red with a little bit um, of apple hint on here, which is um, glossy. Then we have on this side nothing, on the bottom you already saw the connectors. On the other side we have volume control and in the middle uh, play pause button. So these are actually three buttons. And on the top which I was pressing before the, the whole time it's of course an on and off switch right there. But you can of course also use here the button in the middle which I find quite well, you won't actually need it. I think that the old design which was a little bit rounded, um, I think two generations ago for the Nano was a little bit more interesting. This, well, it's it's not needed. It, the, the button on the top would be enough and the interface itself because if you go in any program you can just go this way and then you are out again. So this is um, quite, well, redundant. So, what I also have here, as I said, is the iPod Nano. Or, yeah, this is the Nano and the Touch. So you can see here the size difference between, this is of course double the price as the iPad Mini, which I will show you also, you can see here, the size difference is quite big. But in terms of thickness, the Nano is thinner actually than the Touch. So there's quite a difference. But I think the old Nano is good enough for people who just want to listen to music and run and don't want to connect to any other devices since and watch a lot of videos since that's I think the only feature that's maybe better on here you can watch more videos since it's a 16 by 9 display and what I have here also of course as I said the iPad just for the fun of it here lightning to lightning So you can see here the iPad mini is of course a little bit thicker but there's a lot more hardware inside and it costs double the price. Or yeah, actually both have 16GB so you can say it's double the price. The iPod, mm, what's it called, Touch has 32 gigs in minimum for the same price as the iPad mini. So thank you much for watching and TV. this was a short first look here at the brand new iPod Nano. Um, Thank you for not letting me getting confused. Till next time, please tune in again. Please subscribe to my channel and Devil TV. There's more test reviews and of course unboxing for the iPod Touch coming up. Till next time, please tune in again. My name is Balaj Gal and thank you much for watching and Devil TV.